you probably have at some point bought some of this Halloween fencing from, uh, well, all sorts of places you can get it. There's different manufacturers, different outlets. Spirit Halloween is where I get a lot of them. And uh, they're made of plastic. They're not terribly sturdy. And they are really hard to set up so that they tend to be not really used or if so they just use a packet of three and just like to surround a particular thing so I'm going to show you there is a way to actually use these for longer applications uh, nice long fences in your front yard if you want them um, and it's still a pain but uh, it's at least doable um, the main challenge with these things is just trying to get them into ground and then trying to get them to fit together uh, is just about impossible. Um, the one big secret is don't worry about trying to fit them together. Like this looks really good there, I think, and over here, but these are actually not connected. You can probably see up close here. I do not have these connected. And the reason you don't do that is because it's just a pain. You have to get them into the ground. You have to get the one on the right set up first so that you can then get the one on the left going. You have to have it perfectly positioned left, right, and then you have to have, get them both into the ground equally so that those holes will fit into each other, uh, the male and female. And then if you've got like a stone in the ground or the ground is uneven, it's not it's gonna work. Just don't bother with it. That's the big secret. If you do these right and you get them stuck nice and deep into the ground, like a good three, four inches into the ground, they will stay up just fine. And as you can see, it looks good. So I will show you the trick. All right, so here's the trick. We've got our thing positioned approximately where we want to go. I've got the leaves plowed out so you can actually see the ground. And you, get, you do want to get some kind of a tool. This is what I'm using. It's a ground probe. Um, there's all sorts of ways you can get these pretty much at any big box hardware store. They're like $20, $25. Um, and it's just what it sounds like. It's a long pole that has a nice little pointed tip at the bottom with a handle and you can really press down into the ground quite easily with it. You can use something else, just like a big screwdriver if you want, if you've got some other similar tool, um, but get something like this. So here's what we do. I'm gonna try and do this with one hand. All right, so you get those lined up, the, the gate lined up approximately where you want it to go. Now you see in these, most of them, they have six long foots feet, whatever you want to call them, spikes that actually stick into the ground. Two on each end, and then two separated in the middle. These other ones are just decorative. So you take this device and slide it right along where you want the hole to go, press in. This, we had a freeze last night, so this, believe it or not, this ground is starting to get frozen. There's one, there's two, there's three. Four, five, and of course this one has a stone or something there. Wow. That's why I like using the big probe. All right, now you're at this point here. So you've got those holes just in front. So you should be able to just shift this forward a tiny bit and into the ground. It will go nice and even. Uh, there she goes. And see, we've got that down there. Stuck in the ground quite securely. By the way, if you're wondering why we have uh, this set up this way with all the fence, uh, two-fold purpose, it, obviously it looks cool, but um, for our uh, Halloween, we do a two-stage setup. Um, uh, lights on the front in the weeks before, but then during Halloween day, we want to actually direct people over here to come up the driveway where we all set up with candy and scary stuff. So the fence serves two purposes. Um, the other one being is that obviously it adds atmosphere, but it also serves as a deterrent for people trying to walk through the yard where we have all sorts of electrical cords and stuff going on uh, and directs them the proper way. Ooh.